morning to everyone. It's day three in China and right now I'm in this little village on top of a mountain. We just spent three hours on a Chinese Uber which is called a Didi and we came all the way up here through the mountains to this village area. I don't know what the name is yet but I'm gonna ask my dad soon and we're just gonna head to our hotel and drop off all this luggage. It's already looking so cultural. There's so many cool traditional buildings and I can't wait to see what else there is. Wow! <laughs> we just got our tickets to enter this place. It's like a national park so you need tickets to get in. Wow! <laughs> This place is called Xijiang Tianfu Miao Jai. I don't know what that's called in English, but it's so cool. We're so high up. Uh, you 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 this is our hotel. Hello. Oh, that's how you do WeChat. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And I think it's only $100 a night, so I don't think that's too bad. And it's really nice. This is my dad's bed. This is my bed. But the best part is going outside. And you see the entire village. It's so beautiful. If only it had a drone. There's a lot of those buses that go around this little village. And as you can see, we're on a mountain! Oh, this is exactly how I imagine Avatar, The Last Airbender. This is what I imagine one of their stops would be. It's really warm here and now we're gonna head to the village. What kind of soup is this? It's tofu, tofu and vegetables. Tofu lettuce soup. So got some wild veggies. Koro. What's koro? It's which part of the animal? It's no, it doesn't matter. It's in fire row. Last but not least, some ribs that look spicy, but I'll try it. And the rice is always in a giant bowl like this. Okay. Just finished eating lunch, and now we're heading to a lookout to get a better view of this. Hey, and there's a little river. Oh, there's a whole a river that runs to the bottom. We're going down the mountain to the center village area. It'll be a long walk. through a small street food area. There's so much street food. Let's take a look at what they have. Wow, there's so much meat. I already ate lunch. We're gonna eat lunch next time here. This Wow, this whole street is just food. And here's a little market to buy fresh ingredients. Oh. What is buying something to eat here? It looks like 
What is it? Kotsuba. Oh, it's like that. And then the WeChat Pay is like that. Five dollars, right? You can just pay for it like that. It's warm, sticky rice. That instrument they're playing is called a lusheng. It's made from, I guess, bamboo. Now where are we going? We reached the farmland. We're pretty far from the tourist area now. There's a trail up there that I'm curious about. I want to see if I can go up there tomorrow. Those are farm ducks. Oh wow, a duck house. <laughs> That's so cool. Aw, there are some little ducks. <laughs> it's our little house. trying to find a way out of here. Oh, we're heading to eat dinner now. And there's so many steps. The place we're eating at is called Long Table. So it's like this huge, long, long table. And we're gonna eat with a bunch of people who we don't know. That's how it is. You just eat with them at this big, long table with these tiny, tiny chairs. group of civil engineers and now we're gonna head to an evening show so we have to go down all these steps wow it feels completely different at night time I think we found the theater <laughs> Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. I 
cannot believe that I just did all of that today. We walked 7.6 kilometers in total and walked around 28 flights. The farmland area where they had the crops and the rice paddies, that was what I've always wanted to see in China because I've only ever been to the city. Tomorrow we're gonna leave so it's only one day spent here and I think I learned so much and experienced something so new that I've never I never thought I would experience this. Tomorrow we're gonna take a train back to Guiyang and then I don't know what we're doing there. It's a lot more fun to go on vacation when you have no idea where you're going or what you're doing. So I can't wait to see what we're doing tomorrow and I will see you then. Bye!